It has been one year since Harold Butch Knight allegedly strangled his wife Sarah in their home near Fenville. Target 8 has followed this case all the way to Maine. That's where detectives say Butch fled to and changed his appearance after the murder. He was last spotted there on January 19th of last year. And just moments ago, Sarah's friends and family held a prayer vigil in Gladwin near Clare. And 24 Hour News 8's Evan Dean is live and for the first time, we're hearing from Sarah's mother, Evan. Yeah, Brian and Sue, good evening. We're about three hours northeast of where the murder happened, but this is where family gathered tonight. Sarah's mother is among many family members that still live here in Gladwin. And Sarah, she used to live here too. Her daughter telling me tonight that they would often walk from their house a few blocks away to the park and pass this memorial. So there were certainly a lot of memories shared tonight. And friends and family, they decided to brave the cold right here for a candlelight vigil. They were praying for peace tonight and holding signs that read justice for Sarah Lee. They've also made t-shirts which read no evil goes unpunished justice for Sarah Lee, the color pink, which was Sarah's favorite. They're selling those shirts to raise money so they can up the reward that's out there for any information that may lead to Butch's arrest. Of course, he has been on the run ever since Sarah was found dead. The family tonight told me it's been a very hard year, but they are still holding out hope that Butch will be caught. And they're getting through this tough time by focusing on just how caring and loving Sarah was. All I gotta do is look at her picture. I go to bed and tell her goodbye and wake her up, tell her hi. I'll never lose her. She'll always be with me. Now, during the initial investigation, we told you that Butch had actually sent a package in the mail to Sarah's family. Tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock, you'll hear from Sarah's mother. She tells us what was part of in that package, including a letter. She'll tell you what it said. We're live in Gladwin tonight. Evan Dean, 24-Hour News 8.